Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A water main break in Flushing today. The mayor issuing a notice. Orchard, Court, Melody, Lola and Dale Streets may be affected. Now repairs are underway, so please stay with TV 5 for any updates. Several streets are closed in downtown Midland ahead of its summer art fair. There will be fine art and crafts. Food, live music, and family activities. The art fair is from 10 until 5, Saturday and Sunday. Admission is free. Here's a map of closures. Sections of Main, Ashman, McDonald, and East Larkin streets will reopen Sunday night at 7 p.m. That section of Main Street is closed through October for the Commons Pedestrian Plaza. Also this week, and consider heading to Roscommon for the... Summerfest tomorrow in downtown. You can catch a car show, participate in a cornhole tournament, and hang out with your neighbors. It's family friendly, so gather up your little sweethearts and head on over. There will also be food trucks and music. And check this out the Owasso Kerwood Festival is now in full swing. It began Thursday celebrating author and conservationist James Oliver Kerwood, who was born in the city. The festival is full of fun things to do. Chow down on some cotton candy, enjoy carnival rides and a parade. Today you can look forward to a beer tent at 5 p.m. Kids in Kerwood County Parade at 7 p.m. and lots of live music throughout. For a full list of events, just check out the hot link section of our website. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. For the rest of this Friday, still pretty hot. If you're heading out to the Kerwood Fest, just be sure to still stay hydrated out there. You'll see temperatures up to about 91 this afternoon, but a lot of us achieving low 90s for this afternoon. And even at the Kerwood Fest, you'll still hold on to about 83 even by 8 p.m. So still going to be warm all the way through the evening. And your first alert hour by hour does show a small pop up chance for a shower on Saturday. Overall, still the best chance of rain tomorrow will largely be on the west side of the state, but tomorrow's chance is pretty much like what we had earlier in the middle of this week. That's also the case for Monday as a cold front moves through, so still definitely in need of some rainfall, but with temperatures cooling to the 70s next week, we still have a very pleasant and comfortable week ahead of us. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.